Hey everyone, Bob here, Whiskey Radio, Papa Lima 305. That's right, we're talking GMRS today. It's not that I've just become infatuated with GMRS, I've been interested in it for quite some time and experimenting with it as well. I've just recently finally gotten around to sharing that with you. There is so much hand and so little time. Today on the tabletop will be something familiar yet different. Thanks Tid Radio for providing today's equipment for my use and review. Let's get to it. Most of us are aware that radios like this are mass produced in Asia and then private labeled for different distributors. And today we're looking at the TID radio version. In addition to having 30 GMRS frequencies programmed into the TDH5 radio, there are 219 open channels. Those open channels can be used to program in additional repeaters on the GMRS frequencies that utilize tones for some level of quote privacy, or you can program in UHF and VHF ham frequencies for monitoring only. You will not be able to transmit on those frequencies. Programming the radio can be done via front panel using the TID Radio Wireless Programmer, which there were many YouTube reviews on, or following the instructions that are provided by TID Radio to download and use a CPS software or chirp. Before we take a look at some of the radio's basic functionality, let's look at the differences of the private labeled TID radio. And the first one would be the antenna. If you try to replace this antenna, you're going to be initially disappointed because when you go to twist it off, you will see that it does not twist off. I'm not quite sure why TID radio did this because antennas can be removable on GMRS radios unless you're transmitting data. That's my understanding of the FCC rules. However, it's just simply a stud that has been screwed into the antenna post and all you need is the appropriately sized allen wrench and before long you can take out that little threaded stud and you are good to go and replace this antenna with an aftermarket if you so choose there it is tiny little stud and off comes the antenna no problem you can go ahead and replace that with aftermarket that's the first difference here's the second it's the amount of gear that you get for the money you pay. It is absolutely crazy what you get for $70. You get the quick start guide that tells you how to use a, a programming software. You get a pretty well written English manual that gives you the basic functionality. Of course, you get your two lanyards, you get your two belt clips which do attach to the two batteries. So two batteries, two belt clips, two power bricks, two USB charger uh, cables, a programming cable for the radio. We never get those with our Bofang type radios, do we? Two speaker mics, okay? Are you getting the picture here? Two of everything for $70, crazy. I said two batteries. Those were the two extra batteries. Of course, you get two batteries that are already on the radios themselves. So there are two significant differences for the TID radio TD-H5 compared to other very similar GMRS radios. You have the antenna, which if you want to remove it, you've got to take the set screw out. And then when you buy this pairing, you get an unbelievable amount of value for the money that you spend. Let's talk functionality. We all kind of poke fun at every HT that we buy that has a flashlight. And of course, the day that we need that flashlight, we will be thrilled to death that it is there. You activate the flashlight by pressing the bottom button. If you press the top button, you will activate the FM radio feature. And yes, it plays FM radio. You're not hearing anything. I have the volume all the way down so I don't get myself in YouTube for copyright infringement. It does work. It picks up radio stations. I have verified it. When you press again, you go back to the frequency you left when you first pressed that FM radio button. Let's talk about charging. And this is where I wish that Yesu and ICOM would pay attention to the manufacturers in China of these very cost-efficient radios. We have USB-C charging. This is what we want, everybody. And the low-cost vendors, the low-cost sellers and manufacturers of our HAM and GMRS gear, they're the ones that seem to be providing us with this upgrade. When are the majors going to get on board with this? This is what we want. You can charge the battery independent of the radio or you can charge the battery while it is on the radio. No problem. 
And of course, no HT is complete without having NOAA weather channel scanning capability. The way that you achieve that on the TID Radio TDH5 is by pressing the button that has the blue cloud and holding it in place until it begins scanning. It will stop at the strongest frequency channel that it picks up and it will broadcast until you push it to another frequency. If you're not happy with the reception on that first one, I'm on channel five, if you press the up or down arrow, it will scan until it finds the next frequency that is stronger. And right now, five is the strongest. Oh, it just picked up one. And one and five sound equally uh, mediocre at this point in time of the evening. To stop the scanning, you press and hold this down until it goes back to your channel that you were on prior to going scanning in the NOAA frequencies. Before we do a power output test, I'm going to do a sound quality check here in the QTH. I'm going to go to the other extreme end of the house and key up so you can hear the sound quality on this HT. I'm just gonna slide my boom mic right down next to the speaker on the TDH5. Papa Lima 305, check, check. Testing on the TID Radio TDH5 for sound quality. No response required. Test, test. Channels 1 through 7 would be high power GMRS frequencies and channels. So let's go ahead and key up on channel 1. The bottom number here, the larger number, will be SWR. And the top right-hand corner will be our watts output. It's around 4.6 to 4.7 watts output. Let's jump up to channel seven. And here we are at 4.72. Let's jump up to the first repeater frequency, which would be zero to three channel. And here we are at 4.50, 453, 443. And now let's jump up the channel 30, which would be the last frequency channel pre-programmed in. And here we are at 451, 453 watts output. The TID Radio TDH5 is a great mid-range, full-featured budget radio. And by budget, I mean only in cost, not in quality and features. Of course, there are more expensive radios, and of course, there are lesser expensive radios. This is right there in a sweet spot of good features, good quality, and budget. Hope you found this helpful friend. Talk to you soon, 73.